Hello everybody, my name is Sinan and we are here to another video. Uh, this game is called The Free Writer. Uh, I literally don't know what it's about. I didn't read anything so it's gonna be like a surprise for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get right into it. Start. Oh. Ground, flashlights. But when I tell it to run, that's not a good sign. Holy moly. My sound was quite loud. Okay, let's see how it goes. It's quite dark there. Can I move? Where's Mia? Was that my, my wife? Mia? Holy moly! Oh my god. I really didn't like this. 3M. Oh. oh, I forgot the controls. <laughs> Oh my god, is there anything here? I mean, do I need anything from here right now? Mia! Where are you? Darling! I mean, I don't really run that fast, so I hope I don't need... Mia? Oh, we have a daughter. Mia can be my daughter. You never know. My wife can be away. I got the back door. Why would I go to the basement? What the hell I'm listening to? Why would I go to the basement? Well, I don't know. Mia! You there? Oh, this game is so creepy. Let me check the bathroom first. Mia is not in the toilet. Oh, it's locked. Oh, but this one is open. What am I supposed to do then? I can't go that way. Oh, there's a door here. Oh. I mean, if everything is locked. <laughs> oh my god! Mia? Is that you? What are you breaking now, darling? Why are you so mad? That, that shit scared. That scared out of me. Mia, holy moly, it was here, Mia. Are you eating with me? Oh, stop it. Oh, what's this? I meet him. I meet Mark at his. I'm not sorry. Boxing even. That's the best day of my life. To finally meet the best writer in the whole world and my biggest crush. He's so awesome. I love him so much. I even took a selfie with him. I'm thinking about framing it with the caption Mia Summers with the best author in the world I really wish he noticed me and I would have changed it to the best husband in the world Oh, uh, how cold you Mia after all this time can I go to the basement now? why would I go to the basement? Mia? Me, I told you to don't do that. Put the chair back. I don't even know where to go. Oh my, it's gonna be so, so scary. Me, ah! Oh my gosh. She betrayed me. Oh, nice! Holy moly, that was someone. That wasn't here before. 
Let's read. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, he noticed me here. He actually did. Okay, I need to calm down. A few days ago, I made an interview with my sister Megan about how much I love Mark's work and I'm probably the biggest fan of all time and got aired on her news network. Mark sighed and reached to Megan so we can arrange another interview, but this time he will be in need too so he can meet me in person. Oh, that's how it's gonna be, Mia? You're gonna betray me like that? <coughs> Where the hell did that come from? I literally don't know where that come from. Was it here from here? Well, the time is not moving. Something is wrong with that time. That, that one either. So everything is happening at 3. What was the basement one? Mia, did you clean the floor? Hey? How cold you? Okay, so probably was a door upstairs. Oh yeah, that door. Alright, this is creeping me out though. Mia! I, is that your... Oh no, it's a bin. I would say like where you put the dog food and stuff. No! Hey, stop it! He, I'm crying. I still can't believe it. I, I need to breathe slowly. That's so unbelievable. A few minutes ago, Mark met my dad to ask if I want to marry him. Yes, that's real. I myself wouldn't believe, believe it if I didn't eavesdrop. They're still talking downstairs. I really hope it's not a dream. I, I can't type anymore. My hands are shaking so much. Are you going to ma- Oh! This is going to be Jacob. Hello, J Jacob. Papa! Papa! Is anyone here? Hmm. Nice window. Okay, I read that. Oh! Stop. No! See that, Jacob? The, do you see it? I uh, didn't even see it. You're looking at books. So creepy. Why do I feel that? Okay. I was feeling that my camera was so close. Me, I don't leave me. He's not. Holy moly. Stop it. Oh good, you at least listen to me. Oh. No! Oh my god, it's- ah! Fuck! Sorry about my language. Holy moly. Best- <coughs> Best two weeks of my life. Not only I'm spending my honeymoon in best resort in the world, but I'm also spending them with my most beautiful, handsome, awesome man, outer husband in the world. Can't say the same for him. He doesn't look happy since he's two weeks away from his job and from finishing his new book. I know that kind of forcing him to stay in our resort. Yes, that own VIP resort. But it's that honeymoon gift, so why not? Did you keep him away from the job? You cannot do that. He needs to get money. What's gonna be next? I don't know where to go. There we go! Holy moly, what happened? No! No! Me, are we gonna take a bath to get. Never mind, you with your. Stop! Like, I knew! Oh my god! I knew something would be there. Behind you! I really get scared with our games. Like, I like to play them, but I get so scared. I'm such a pussy. Me! Oh! No! Jacob! What the fuck? 
What? Jacob? You don't touch my Jacob! Okay. Never mind. You can touch Jacob as much as you want. No, no, you can stay there. Uh, oh my God, I need to go there. Don't try. Where's Jacob? Oh, I know you're there. Shh. I, I can move. Free, free, free. Oh, man, King. Holy moly. What the hell? <laughs> so creepy. I mean, there's so much open space. Uh, why? why? Why the hell would you have like such a big picture just for that? Let's read it. His new book really willing him down. He's recently angry all the time because of the publishing deadlines. Yesterday morning he went full rage on me because I accidentally broke a plate. And afternoon he almost hit me because I fell asleep on the couch while watching the TV. He said the static noise scared him. He even throws a chair at me for no reason. I'm sure he's doing that out of stress. I mean, if you throw someone a, a chair, doesn't mean it's... Oh my god. Jacob? I didn't check if Jacob was fine. No, Jacob, you're locked inside now. It's over, Jacob. Holy moly! Stop it. Can you move, please? Thank you. Got bugged there. <laughs> Mia? Mia, didn't get angry at me, right? Or probably, I can... I know. No. I didn't mean to throw you the chair, I will throw you the bin if next time. That's why she's always moving the chairs. Did I kill her or something like that? Oh, she slept on the couch. Stop it. What was it? <laughs> Don't do that. My hands are- oh my god. I got creeps all over my body. Shut up. Holy moly, stop it. Okay, probably that door will never be used. Oh no. It's because of the chairs, me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Can I go to Father? No! Stay out. Okay. Yes! Yes! Who is it? Where the hell is the door? I... No! Hold me. Hey, sweetness. Guess what? It's almost time. Why? Why? Me, are you okay? You've been acting really weird. Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. Holy moly. Me, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Mike kept saying that his house was small and old. To be honest, it wasn't that small or old. So I got the best gift for him, a new house. I talked to dad yesterday about how stressed Mark is and how much it will help him if he gets a better house. So he bought a new house from his real estate. He even insists that it would be a gift for him so he can keep writing in a new atmosphere. I will always put him no matter what. Oh, that's so sweet. That's not sweet. Me. Oh. Fucking hell. You didn't need to run from me. I was expecting you to disappear.
It's a curve. Just vanish in the hair when I get close to it. What happened? Holy moly. Me, me, Mia. Help me this time, Mia. <laughs> oh, no. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah. Cuckoo! I'm here! Holy moly. Oh. My my ears are ringing. Jacob! Mark and I are finally back home from the hospital after the car crash where he broke his leg. He drove us home really drunk after the party to brand his new book, The Free Writer. He kept talking about how this book will clear all his debts. When I asked him why he hides that, he got angry and accidentally crashed. But one year Nifster is small and he's planning a surprise as he said, but I think my surprise will be better when he knows that I'm pregnant with his child. That's so cute! I can't... Oh... So basically my, my leg hurts because of the car crash. And to tomorrow or today is gonna be... Holy moly. You don't want to remember. Hell no! I wanna use this door. I can't! My leg hurts! Jacob. I wish I could take Jacob with me. You are pregnant, I know. Sorry. I I'll take responsibility. Holy mom. Why? Why? Oh, uh, this look like PT. Trap. Trapped? No! I'm not. Jacob! I got Jacob with me. I'm not. I'm not trapped. Jacob! Holy moly. Which door is it? Jacob, how could you trap me in there? This isn't over. No, it's not, darling. We got the child. We need to take care of. Okay. Jacob, do you see that? Okay. We got the ch What's her name? Bottle. That's a nice name for a child. Can I go the other way? I mean, I can open doors by myself. Darling. And... You don't, you don't need to breathe that much, darling. Oh, hi, darling! <laughs> Cuckoo! Oh, I'm joking, darling. I can't run to you, sorry. You gonna run to me again? Just run. Holy moly, that's scary. Was he bugged there or it was meant to be here? There. What the hell? Something is wrong. Oh, you are the reason for this. It was always wrong. Okay. So it's my fault. Oh, I'm back. Okay, relax, darling. Don't break the doors. So do I need to go here? Darling. Holy moly, what's that? Where's our daughter? What about our daughter? The bottle. Where's our mannequin at the door? Okay, that. It's stuck! I can open it with a hammer! I have a hammer in the locket! Where's the, where's the locker? 
progress. Oh, there you go. This is on. Everything is good. I can open with a crowbar. Oh, gosh. Where do I get that? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Wow. I mean, I can kill the Mia now. Mia! You wanna get with the shovel in your head? Okay. This worked. And now I hope on the locker. Oh gosh. So I got a hammer now. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my god, if you have a hammer, just burst into it. Oh. <laughs> Me a diet. And I killed myself. Upon hearing a gunshot, the police arrived at the house where the shot is heard and witnessed the horrible crime scene with two bodies from the basement. They belong to the very famous writer Mark Wayne and his wife Mia Sam, who is the daughter of, of, our own, of our town mayor. After the information, the police confirmed that this is not a house breaking situation but rather a homicide where the husband shoots the wife, burn and buried her in the basement, and after what looks like regretting. His decision, he shot himself. They also found the will note and that the wife was dragged and pregnant before the incident. We can speculate a few things. The husband had financial problems, the Mary is a rich fan, dragging and forcing her to give him all her money with the will note after she trusts him, then killing her. I mean, I don't really. While the husband was trying to erase the evidence, he walked up on his wife's diary tablet to find out that. Not only he killed his wife, but also his unborn child. He tried to dig her up, but it was already too late, so he shot himself. But God has another plan because the bullet didn't kill him. It sent him into coma, making him stuck between worlds and possibility in his own purgatory. We all hope he gets well soon so he can face the true punishment in court. This is Megan Sermons from MCT News. Good night. Good night! I mean, it wasn't really because he wanted the money because she was rich. It was because, like, I mean, he couldn't even be a good husband. Like, why the hell would you, like, throw a chair to your wife? Like, I understand, like, you can be stressed and stuff, but, like, throwing a chair and hitting her, like, you should never do that. Like, why, why would you ever do that? I mean, if you. If you, like, if you love her, you only even do that, like, never in your life. Not even, like, if someone, like, threatens you to kill you, like, it should be love. What about the game? It was really nice. I really enjoyed it. It was really scary, like, I wasn't really waiting for that, like, like, some moments, I knew what would go happen, or what it would happen. Oh, this kid. Thanks to you. I feel like the game has done something. Oh, well, yeah. I really enjoyed the game. It was scary in many ways. Uh, I'm new to the world of horrors and stuff. Like, I saw many people playing it. But... I'm new when playing games of horror. <laughs> Like the one that when the guy came, guy or me or what was that came running to me, like I was more expecting 
that she to vanish. Like normally when you approach, she goes in there. I wasn't really expecting to run. But I really enjoyed the game. I mean, like for what they have, it's really good. I mean, you have the interactive story and you have like everything. Oh, and I didn't go to the website. Uh, it was really nice. I, I really like it. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Tell me what you, did you think in the comments below. And uh, I hope they continue making games like this. Uh, it, it, it is really good. I like it. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. And I see you in my next video. Bye.